Hello and welcome to this video um, where we'll, we will be flashing the um, ESCs with the Simon K firmware because we're going to use it on the tri uh, sorry the quadcopter of the Tarot 650 Ironman quadcopter uh, that we're currently building and um, we're going to flash it with Simon K firmware and I'm going to show you how because Simon K firmware is uh, optimal for multi-copter and multi-rotor flying since it is um, well, improved the, um, the refresh rate, so um, the motors will quickly correct the sorry the ESCs will quickly correct um, the motors if uh, anything goes out of, of balance. Balance, so you get a much more stable quadcopter or a drone or multi rotor or multi copter, whatever you call it. And um, so, for this, you're gonna need the a USB ASP programmer. You can get this off of Hobby King or well, pretty much any other site. There's many versions of these and uh, this one is the one I got from Hobby King a year ago. Uh, they probably have a new version now where they don't have a 10 pin connector, they have a 6 pin instead. Um, but it's basically the same. Um, and you're gonna need this. This is the uh, flash tool from, uh, from Hobby King's website uh, as well. I believe this is $20, $15-$20 and this is uh, well less, around $5 perhaps, I can't remember what I paid for that, uh, no matter, um, no matter how much, it's uh, it's cheap because you're going to be using it a lot, uh, every build you're going to do, you, you're going to flash a lot of ESCs, so um, you're going to need an EC, you're going to need a scissor and a uh, just a sharp knife um, here and you're gonna need a laptop and um, first of all you're gonna download the uh, Kekif Multicopter Flash tool uh, from the Lazy Zero website you can just scroll down a little bit and there's, um, there's uh, the different versions whether you're running Linux, whether you're running Windows or Mac and stable builds and better builds so uh, once you've got that installed just go ahead and open it up um, it should look like that and then you're gonna take a scissor and cut your bag open because you're gonna need your ESC out so now that we have that out just throw that bag to the side okay so we now got this out and um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just cut this heat shrink off and uh, I usually just cut it on the top here because it makes it easier for mounting afterwards. Go ahead and remove the heat shrink. Put that aside. And turn the EC upside down. Now you're gonna plug this into a, just a USB port. And what you're gonna do is there's just a small red dot here um, on the uh, multi-copter, uh, sorry, the flash tool, um, otherwise it's just a small uh, tab inside the heat shrink which you can see which corner should align with this with this dot right on the on the Atmel processor. I don't know if you can see that but just, just a round dot on the Atmel processor. These two dots should line up so I just line it up for you. So now the dot is in this corner so the same should this uh, red dot be when we flash it. So you should press it down like that and hold it down when you flash it. So when you've opened up the multi-copter flash tool, uh, the KK multi-copter flash tool from Lazy Zero, you're gonna select the programmer up here. And since it's a USB ASP we've bought from the Hobby King site and I just showed you, we're gonna um, select the USB ASP here and you should probably download the driver if you haven't already from that website. The uh, FISCHL.de slash USBSP. Just download the drivers there if you can't get the um, USBSP to work. And select the port, which is obviously a USB. And the controller, here you should select the Atmega 8 based brushless ESC. There's um, different possibilities whether you want to flash um, a firmware to a multicopter flight controller or see yes different flight controllers and uh, different boards 
different PCBs and layouts and you should just find the one that says Atmega 8 based brushless ESC um, for instance the is 8 kilobytes flash just go ahead and select that and down here in firmware we're gonna select the if you are flashing the uh, Hobby King Blue series 30 amp or just any of the Blue series you're gonna select the BS N FET of uh, the Blue Series N FET. You're gonna select that, and down here in the firmware version, you can just see the newest, which is the top version here by Simon K. So just flash that onto there, and um, when you've selected the proper um, the proper um, options and settings in here, there's this. Uh, green button here with a white man running and if you hover over it it says flash the selected firmware from the internet and um, when you have set this all up now's the time you go ahead and find that alignment which is right here for my um, from, for this um, purpose and you're gonna find the EC and you see that dots right here at this this corner pointing out towards you. So align these up just like that and press that green man running. Sorry, the green button of the white white man running. And you should see I'll just show you when it's done. Something like that. So now it's done, just remove it. You should see a message like this. AVR do you done? Uh, thank you. The flashing of firmware was successful. So now we've flashed the ESCs, and you should probably do it with the rest of the ESCs you're going to use with your build. So uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further updates, and for further updates in the turret frame will will come soon. So uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.